tea and chat uh, when I was putting together this uh, program. I had several people ask me, they were like, tea and chat? What is, what is this tea and chat? I mean, what is the, the mystical significance of tea and chat? I mean, do we study something? Are we doing a tea ceremony? And I'm like, no, 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 it's not the tea ceremony. It's a really complicated thing. I was like, this is, this is tea and chat. This is literally, come have a cup of tea. Let's hang out. There's a Dunkin' Donuts across the way. If you want coffee, go bring some coffee. Uh, but the reason that it is part of the program is that mindfulness is the, at the core of Zen practice. If it is the only thing you master, you will have done more than someone who can chant every sutra written and sit in silence without moving for 365 days. To be, to be mindful means to be present without judgment. One of the most important practices of mindfulness is to become able to be present without judgment in the company of others. Doing so increases your ability to listen and connect with others. It eases that feeling that so many of us have that we are alone in the world or in our struggles because it reminds us that we, we share life. Nobody lives alone. But we don't get much opportunity to simply be with others. Uh, every time we are around people, if it isn't, you know, with a purpose, then we are, we are blocking them out because they're strangers. Our, our minds are so busy with what we plan to say or what we want to get done or what we're going to do after that, that we're not even there. The idea of, of taking time to be with others for no special reason and no specific purpose is one that is, you know, not highly valued in this society, but it should be. It is the, the kiss of life. One of the reasons that having the Zen Studies program at Main Street Martial Arts is such a wonderful thing is that they are dedicated to providing a place for the community to come together and grow. They're not just about you know getting students and teaching martial arts i mean they're they're a non-profit they provide everything from you know martial arts training to personal support to people um, they have daycare they have food available if someone shows up and they're hungry after school programs they understand what martial arts is on a level that not many people do. Many people think they see, you know, the MMA or the, the cage fighting or Bruce Lee movies or, or anything like that, and they see all that the physical skill, and they forget that behind all that physical skill, there is compassion, there is dedication, there is giving, there is community, there is respect, and there is integrity. And, and this is a part of their mission, and that's why the Zen Studies program fits so well in this environment. It's like we're all helping to carry the basket, and anyone is welcome to come in and take what they are carrying and put it in that basket and let the community help them carry it. Tea and chat is simply that. It's tea and chat. Like I said, bring coffee if you want. If you want to bring pastries, you rock and you get the brownie point of the day. But it's, it's really about taking the time to get to know each other in a, in a place that is calm and it's peaceful, it's welcoming, and it's neutral. Choosing to make time when there is no gain other than being with each other. That's the essence of Zen. It is the mindfulness of presence within the world. It is inclusive. It is living in the moment.